to see it. Well, as I say, the euro, uh, one month high, 132.5. Do we see 135 or a retest of 130 first? I think we should fade around. I think 130 will come first. I mean, uh, in the very near term, you could argue that indeed uh, euro may squeeze higher, especially if the run of uh, better than expected eurozone data continues uh, really combined with uh, weaker than expected US data. We have the IFO, German IFO tomorrow and all mm -hmm. that. And all that could uh, indeed indicate that uh, it will be easier now for the ECB to argue that second half of this year really would be better for the eurozone, hence less need for further easing. All that said, the cyclical outlook for euro dollar and the risks there are still firmly pointing to the downside. The downside, but having said that, is looking pretty solid from a technical perspective. We've gone above all the major uh, moving averages on the daily charts and above all the moving averages, uh, the big ones on the weeklies, except the 200, which uh, comes in about 134. Yeah. Well, you do get the sense that uh, there is a momentum, really positive momentum building up uh, for the currency from the technical uh, perspective. That said, I would still go with the potentially less supportive fundamental picture uh, from here and uh, would think that the moment we get more positive U.S. data in particular, Fed tapering really expectations of potentially further tightening in the uh, global monetary conditions could be supportive for the dollar across the board and uh, will weigh on the euro dollar. And now the trade weighted euro, you, you, you've, you've uh, taken a look at that, it's up almost well, between 7.5 and 10% on the year. Um, will the ECB be watching that, do you think, and prepared to act on it? Well, uh, back in February, uh, where, where we saw quite an extensive bounce in the trade weighted, uh, President Draghi was quite explicit, highlighting the risks between currency appreciation and disinflation in the eurozone. Presumably, further aggressive appreciation of euro across the board could indeed uh, put, a, 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 a put to risk the uh, ECB's ability really to meet their 2% inflation target over their forecast horizon and all that, and could potentially be addressed uh, by Mr. Draghi. What I'd like to highlight in this regard is that actually stronger currency is also part of the overall tightening in monetary conditions we've been seeing most recently. We had the 12-month uh, one-year forward Ionia really back to the highs uh, from the start of July, just before the July ECB meeting. So all that could point at more dovish ECB down the road.